So I have to redo this boss fight, unfortunately, but it's not that bad. I think I did it. Yes! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> nope, son, you're going down too. <laughs> Oh. oh, happy. You you did it. We did it. Oh, that's why I had to repeat it, because they have this cutscene. So the dev said in the Patreon notes that this cutscene is supposed to represent your relationship with Poro. You actually get a different cutscene depending on how much he likes you. There were three different options. This is one of them. I think this is the best one. The other ones didn't look as nice. So I think this is the one if he really likes you. So I think Poro really likes me here. Look, human. Poro is not entirely useless after all. <laughs> yeah. I, I disagree. You're still entirely useless. I finally fought as long as I do. <laughs> then I'm gonna get so many YouTube comments. Draggy, why are you mean to Poro? I, I actually get like a lot of comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm joking. He's not useless. He's nice. I like him. I just, I just like to trigger people. <laughs> No, not really. I love him. He's great. Uh, Poro did his best at tossing gas cylinders. Being able to help you is really amazing. <laughs> Such a huge group of latex beasts completely defeated by our cooperation. This is a dream come true. Although my arms are beyond tired now, you, human, are the even harder worker. How much concentration it must take to stand before such a gr big group of latex beasts and still be able to calmly fight back. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I had to focus pretty hard. And to quickly think of the best route, timing, and method, even that big ship was not worth mentioning. You truly deserve to be called an excellent human. I mean, maybe not all humans are like this, but you, human, absolutely deserve it. Only relying on your own actions, you have dealt with so many obstacles. You are so awesome. You can definitely escape. I'm awesome! Yay! Poro called me awesome. Hey, Yego, I'm not flirting with Poro. Colon has curves from the angle. Holy crap, you're not wrong. I'm thick as heck. What happened down there? I thought I was starved in that cryo tube. How many oranges did I eat? Did I eat like hundreds of oranges? <laughs> Off camera? I'm super thick. Yes, I am possum. No, no need to thank me. You accomplished all this on your own. No, no, it's all right, Poro. We were a good team. If you didn't send me those gas cylinders, I would have been just fine. No, I, I, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. After all, what I did was nothing more than to keep throwing the gas cylinders over. Yeah, and I needed those. So thank you. Ah, human, you're wet all over. I mean, yeah, I've, I've been in water. <laughs> For, for the past 10 15 minutes <laughs> what do you expect to happen <laughs> yeah after all there was so much splashing going on in the basin yeah no kidding like like <laughs> poor what the heck <laughs> quickly go forward back on land human i'll think of a way to get us out this little room <laughs> let's just hope you won't run into more trouble up ahead again okay poor old thing yeah, yeah, I'd keep doing that with your paws. <laughs> Go on, human. Yay, Poro best cheerleader. Go on, human. Go on, human. Go on, human. It's his cheer. He raises his paws in the air every time he says that. Go on, human. Thanks, Poro. I appreciate it. Best cheerleader ever. Can I talk to you? <laughs> He's doing it again. Go on, human. <laughs> Go on, human. Thanks, Poro. You're doing a good job. Oh, go on, Draggy. <laughs> what happens if I try to go back? Oh. oh, look who's still waiting for me. Those kinky robots. Please, no. Save, 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 save. Okay. Now we don't have to worry. Good. <laughs> I'm not going that way, dude. You're already soaking wet all over. Didn't you suffer enough of this yet? I mean, you think the water is my biggest fear? You think I'm most afraid of being wet? <laughs> We're not going to that robot again. No. <laughs> That thing hecking transformed me into goo, brought me down to my knees, bound me, hypnotized my face, and made me an obedient good boy. That is not happening again. All right, let's keep going forward. What's this? The ink on the sign is still new. Mm. Oh, heck! Oh, I'm going to need to open the Patreon thing. There's a code. Okay, uh, overwrite this save. All right, these are the sound effects of the thing. We already saw this, and then this is the light. Yeah, we know this. 
Okay, but but there is there is there's a code. There's more we can do here. The dev added to this room. Passing through a covered sloping passage, you arrive in a hidden secret room. Hi. Someone's hard at work. Or playing games. <laughs> okay, let's look around a little bit. Report record. In the secret machine pile room, there are a lot of traces that shouldn't be there. The computer controlling the machine is turned on. There are also signs of usage on the machine. Some latex beasts must be on the loose in here, messing around. More and more latex beasts of bizarre appearance have been showing up in this institute lately. That latex beast must have been using this machine to create something. I hid this machine in the first place specifically because I didn't want this to happen. The unnatural patterns and appearances on those latex beasts are nothing like the beasts they were that were originally created that were originally in the institute. They were definitely created using this machine. I'll have to sort them with the archive one by one later. Report finished. Yeah, they're unusual designs because they're patrons, that's why. <laughs> and it's the dev that's been messing with the machine. There's a pair of pink pants on the floor, but the, anim but the animation for these pants is not finished yet. <laughs> I like it. Okay. There's a pair of white pants, but the animation for these pants is not finished yet. Pile of books. Pile of books. Pile of books. There's a pair of gray pants, but the animation is not finished yet. Pile of books. Slightly different life support chamber. Okay. Yes, indeed, that is Dragonstone. That's correct. <laughs> My stream still says VR chat? Oh, crap. Thank you. It should be fixed now. I forgot to push the button. Alright, I think we have to input a code. Hello, sir. Welcome to the smart DNA combiner control terminal. Please kindly state your wish. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's check out Dragonstone first. Thank you kindly for using. Goodbye. Okay. We strike... When she's not prepared. Yay! <laughs> oh, we scratched the chin that time. La you remember last time we actually petted the head. This time we scratched the tin. She added more animations. She did say there are three ways to do it. I guess this is what she meant. But how do we control which one we do? Is it random? Let's see. Heck! I was too slow. Try again. Uh-huh. It's a scritch chin again. I'll try one more time. If it's a scritch chin again, then I don't know. Maybe we have to wait for it to blink twice. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's 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 let her blink twice and see if that makes it different. All right. So, blink once. All right. Now blink again. Aha! That is the trick. We got a pet that time. Okay, so now let's let her blink three times, and I think we'll get something else. <laughs> Pop! <laughs> got your ear. Draggy's got your ear. All right, that's the scritch blink. And then we're going to get the pet and ear blink in a moment. Okay, now the third one is... It's a scritch again. Okay, I don't know then. I have no idea. Maybe it is random. I'll try one last time. <laughs> Maybe it's random and we're just unlucky. We keep getting the scritch. Ah, oh, there we go. I got the other one. It is random. It's a cheek pull. <laughs> that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> I don't think she liked that one very much. <laughs> At least the animation for the books is finished. Yeah. You think it's the location? I mean, all I did was press enter. I didn't move the joystick. So I don't think there was much about location. <laughs> hey, Paraska, How's it going? It's your favorite game. To put the pants on in the next update. Oh, no. All right, so let's take a look at what we could do with this PC. Yeah, we'll have to put the pants on and see these animations. View picture. Oh, let's just go in order. View file. View file one. There's a large number of wolf-shaped latex beasts in the Research Institute that use DNA of canine organisms as basic template, but there are next to no dogs here. Dogs are a domesticated species, not naturally existing. Okay. Because of human intervention in evolution, most domestic dogs have genetic defects and diseases, so they're usually not the first choice. Yeah, because we breed them the way we want to. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of different dog breeds, and humans have the most control over what breeds exist, so probably less genetic variety. View file two. The CEO himself co-developed the first version of this device. It only needs the DNA for combination to be selected in a straightforward way. 
and it can print out goo creatures that have grown into a mature state in a relatively random way. However, because of the random arrangement of the DNA, sometimes the appearance and patterns on the latex piece will be very strange. I guess this is how the dev is trying to justify and fit within the lore the fact that you have these very over-the-top designs for some of these creatures because, you know, they're patrons. They're someone's actual OC. Whereas most of, the, most of the latex creatures that are canonical to the game are very, very simple in design. I mean, just look at Puro. He's like a big black goo wolf with the white mask. I mean, it's very simple compared to these more colorful transformations. View file three. Recent operating records, feline plus arthropod. A cat plus an insect? Reptile plus chylopteran. I don't know what a chylopteran is. Canine plus unknown gene. Reptile plus cartilaginous fish. Feline plus reptile. Canine plus arthropod. Unknown gene plus unknown genes. Regarding the password, that password string that got de deprecated? After the device version was updated. Operate equipment. Please enter the password. Oh, heck. Okay. It was... Uh, give me a moment. It's 111-000-3... Three. Does that look familiar to anyone? I Apparently that's supposed to look familiar. I, I don't know. But this is the password. Printing. What exactly are we printing? Wait. Oh. Oh, it's a bunny. Get the bunny! Get the double triple A battery bunny. Slightly different life support chamber. Okay, so here, here's like a bunch of different patrons. Wait, but there was a third option on the PC that we never got to check out. Am I going to have to load? Yeah, I might have to load. Oh, very nice characters. Dude, one day I hope I can get in the game. That'd be really cool. I would really, really like that. Well, I, I would like it and I wouldn't like it. But it would, it would be kind of weird to like get transferred into like my own <laughs> character. That, that, that would be like surreal. Oh, I like that one. Totally not biased to scalies or anything. Wait, isn't that basically the distraction lizard? It looks a lot like him. Just less distraction-y. More blue. I like the blue. Looks nice. Not sure if you showed it's too late out. It's not. It's not. I can cut that out. No problem. I'm talking about for the YouTube video. Whoa. I guess that I can see that tail. It, it is kind of insect-like. So I'm pretty sure what we're looking at are the combinations that was described in the text log. <laughs> okay. I think we're seeing more than was actually listed. But I guess they were just only listing some examples. Ooh, a full-on dragon. That one kind of gives me the vibe of having a feral stance. I mean, look how much his body is bent as if he's being forced upright. I think that's a quadrupedal dragon. That's really cool. Usually everything in this game has been anthro. It's not my boyfriend. No, Mr. Distraction Lizard is not my boyfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I think that's it. Can I? Ah, sweet. Okay, I was worried I was going to have to load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the last option? View pictures. View picture one. Uh-oh. What happened to this poor guy? There's a bunch of goos reaching out to him. Run! Escape! <gasps> he got touched with some goo. <laughs> On his own. Wait, that's his own gooed arm that just rushed his face. Oh, snap. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> his arm had a mind of its own and rushed to accelerate the gooing process by making him smack his own face. Uh-oh. There's goo above you! Watch out! That's not honey! Honey, I gooed the security guard! Oh, no! <laughs> it's all over his face. Oh, no. Welp. One more. Oh, this guy was getting experimented on. Wait, I don't... I'm... Okay, so that's the tail. What's underneath? Oh, no, no, that's all part of the tail. That he had, that's a thick tail. Wow, that's a really big tail. I, th I think that's entirely the tail behind him, breaking out of his pants, yeah. I thought the tail was above and underneath was like something else. I was confused, but yeah, no, that whole thing is his tail. Yeah, it's a big tail. Well, I think we've done everything we can on this PC. Time to move on.
No worries, Drew. Best of luck. I can't believe it's not, honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's not all, though. There's more. There is more in the next room. Wait. Uh, Let's save over this one. There is more in the next room. The next room is what has the real update, so we're going to check this out in a moment.